Hi, I'm Fayaz, your Vice President Community and Welfare. Hello, I'm Patrick and I'm the Avon and Somerset Police Taxi Compliance Officer. Here at the Students' Union at UV, we want you to have the best possible time you can during your time at UV. With Bristol having so much to offer day and night, we've put together some tips for travelling around and getting home safely, whether that be by taxi, bus, bike, e scooter or walking. Buses run regularly from Bristol city centre to various locations and there are few services that run after midnight. The first bus app is a handy tool to have on your phone to buy tickets, check live bus times and plan your route home. They also offer student tickets. Just make sure you got your student ID with you to show your driver. Taxis can be taken from ranks or held in the street. You will know them as they have a roof sign on them saying taxi. Private hire vehicles, such as those used by Uber, Bolt and Vizu, can only take you if you have booked them first. You should never use a vehicle which is not displaying a taxi plate on it. Drivers should always display their badge so you can see their details. And feel free to take a photo of the vehicle licence plate before you get in. Be aware that at night there may not be as many vehicles available and you may have to wait, although some taxi companies do allow you to pre-book well in advance so you don't have to wait. And make sure you have money or a card to pay, as failing to pay your fare is a criminal offence and could get you into trouble. If you're going to be walking home, it's helpful to know which route you'll be taking beforehand or ensure you've got enough phone charge to use maps. Try and stick to well-lit paths or main roads. The police also have street safe tool which is way for anyone to anonymously report areas where they feel unsafe and the reason, for example, poor or faulty lighting. Walking home with a friend or in a group is always best, but if you are walking by yourself, there are plenty of apps that allow you to share your live location with a trusted friend. It can be reassuring to know that someone is aware of where you are, especially if it's late at night. E-scooters can be a quick and easy way to get around. However, remember that the same rules that apply to other motor vehicles may also apply to e-scooters. For example, if you've had too much to drink or you're under undue influence from other substances, you shouldn't ride an e-scooter. The same laws about driving with drink or drugs also apply when riding an e-scooter. And driving under the influence of drink or drugs puts yourself and others at risk. So if you're under the influence, leave the e-scooter for another time. Don't be tempted to use e-scooters that are privately owned. Unless the e-scooter is hired from a company such as Tier or Westscoot, it isn't legal to use it anywhere in public and you might have the e-scooter taken from you by the police and be in trouble for offences such as riding without insurance or riding without a driving licence. And remember, riding with two people is dangerous and will result in a £100 fine from the police. Remember as well that the rules of the road also apply to you. So red lights, pedestrian crossings, one-way streets, all apply to you as well. Have a safe journey. Cycling is a great sustainable way to explore Bristol and get some exercise at the same time. You could look for a cheaper second-hand bike of Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace. Did you know the Students' Union has a bike loan scheme to help you get around Bristol in an eco-friendly way? The scheme allows you to hire a bike to use for the year, which must be returned to the Students' Union at the end of the each academic year. The bike loan scheme is now full and will reopen next year. You can email su.bikeloan at uv.ac.uk to register your interest in case one becomes available in the meantime. Remember not to ride your bike under the influence as you can enjoy yourself and others. More information on cycling facilities are in the links below.